there a danger in being reactive rather than proactive in all of this? I, I, I see Reacting that. when there's a problem rather than proactive to negate the problems before they even reach that crisis. I, I say that more often than not, uh, there's three phases to a crisis. The, the preparation, the managing, and then the repair of the reputation. The least expensive part of that is in preparing, and it is also the least um, engaged in. People call us when they're already in the hot seat, and that's expensive. Preparing for it and investing in that and going through likely scenarios, how are we going to respond to it? Who is going to do what? When do we decide it's a crisis? Who is all involved once that crisis has been determined to be engaged? If I could weigh on, in on this, just from the standpoint, again, from the leadership organizational perspective, the gentleman made reference to planning, and this is a situation where uh, failing to plan is planning to fail. I referenced earlier in one of my comments the idea of having competencies, identified behavioral competencies. If one of the competencies that the organization has identified is communication, it normally is, what does that look like for leaders? What are, what are the behavioral uh, uh, representations of being an effective communicator. One of those uh, representations, especially for top leaders, should be uh, dealing effectively, communicating effectively with the tough issues, the hard calls. And if that has been identified and if leaders are, are scrutinized along those lines, you have the opportunity to do scenario planning. You can practice this. You can have trainings and so forth. You can have dry runs so that at the point where you actually have to implement those leaders who are expected as top leaders to be effective communicators, strong communicators, particularly with re regard to crisis communication, they have honed and practiced their crisis communication so that they're ready to do very well with poise, with effectiveness, when it's showtime. And, and you can have templates ready where you can put in the right facts, but at least you, you've already started, you've already decided who's going to address the issue. I'm usually brought in when the crisis is happening. And I can tell you that no matter how sophisticated the executives are, uh, they're always upset, they're angry, uh, they're refusing to acknowledge that they have a problem, they think it might go away, they think somebody might not tell the press, uh, and so they're just not equipped to be ready to, to deal with the situation and to start making hard decisions.